Ever wondered how many types of turtles roam our planet? Well, let's dive into the enchanting world of these extraordinary creatures. Turtles, one of the oldest and most diverse species on Earth, have been around for over 200 million years, mingling with dinosaurs in the prehistoric era. Majestic, aren't they? Now hold on to your hats because this might come as a surprise. There are over 300 different species of turtles worldwide. Yes, you heard it right, over 300. They come in all shapes and sizes from the tiny speckled padlopper tortoise no bigger than your palm, to the enormous leatherback sea turtle which can grow up to 7 feet long. These creatures have managed to adapt to a variety of habitats, from the deepest oceans to the hottest deserts. So, are you ready to embark on a journey to explore the intriguing world of turtles? Stay tuned to find out more about these fascinating creatures. Did you know that turtles come in all shapes and sizes? That's right! Turtles are a diverse bunch, boasting over 300 species around the world. In our turtle tour today we're going to meet the smallest and the largest members of the turtle family. First up, meet the speckled padlopper tortoise. This adorable little creature is the smallest turtle in the world. Hailing from South Africa, the speckled padloper tortoise is a tiny marvel, with the males barely reaching 4 inches in length. That's about the size of a teacup. They're known for their unique speckled shells that help them blend in with their rocky surroundings. And guess what? They have a sweet tooth for succulent plants. That's right, they love their greens. Now let's move from the tiny to the titanic. Meet the leatherback sea turtle, the largest turtle and the largest living reptile on the planet. These oceanic giants can reach lengths of up to 7 feet. To give you an idea of just how big that is, if you lay down next to a fully grown leatherback, it would likely be taller than you. And they're not lightweight either. A full-grown leatherback can weigh up to 1,500 pounds. That's about the weight of a small car. Unlike their hard-shelled cousins, leatherbacks have a flexible, rubbery shell that allows them to dive to great depths in the ocean. Their diet is mainly jellyfish, and they can consume hundreds of them in a single day. So there you have it, folks. From the tiny speckled padlopper tortoise, no bigger than a teacup, to the massive leatherback sea turtle, as heavy as a small car, turtles truly are a diverse bunch. They're fantastic creatures, each with their unique characteristics and lifestyles. These shelled wonders show us just how varied and fascinating the animal kingdom can be. Imagine a turtle that's bigger than your dad. No, seriously, picture that for a second. Isn't Mother Nature amazing? What do you think turtles love to munch on? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of turtle diets. Turtles are quite flexible when it comes to their meals. Some are carnivores, others are herbivores, and then there are those who swing both ways, the omnivores. Carnivorous turtles, like the snapping turtle, have a taste for the underwater buffet. They enjoy a good feast of insects, small fish, and even other turtles if they're feeling a bit peckish. On the flip side, herbivorous turtles, like the green sea turtle, prefer the veggie life. They relish a good salad of seaweed and algae, with a side of seagrasses. Now if you're a turtle who can't decide between a steak or a salad, then you might be an omnivorous turtle. These turtles, such as the painted turtle, enjoy the best of both worlds, dining on plants, insects, and small fish. So, you see, turtles are not picky eaters. They eat what's available, and that's one of the secrets to their survival. But wait, there's more to turtles than their flexible diet. Let's talk about their physical features. The most striking feature of a turtle is its shell. The turtle shell is a marvel of nature, providing the turtle with a built-in shield for protection. It's made up of about 60 different bones all connected together. It's not a suitcase they can pack and leave behind. No sir, it's a part of their skeleton, growing with them from birth till they're old and wise. And did you know? Turtles can pull their heads and legs into their shells when they sense danger. This retractable feature makes them the Houdinis of the animal kingdom, disappearing into their shells in the blink of an eye. So turtles are not just slow and steady, they are also smart and strategic. They know when to hide, when to fight, and when to take a bite. So not all turtles love pizza like our friend from the Ninja Turtles. Do turtles like to party or are they more of the solitary type? Let's dive into the social life of these shelled friends to find out. When you think of turtles, you might picture these slow-moving creatures living alone tucked away in their shells. And you're not wrong. Turtles are primarily solitary animals spending most of their life alone. They roam the seas or the land, munching on their favorite foods, all by themselves. They don't form social groups or families like some animals do. So, you might say turtles are the original fans of me time. But here's a fun twist. 
While turtles enjoy their solitude, they aren't complete hermits. They do have a few social habits. Have you ever seen a group of turtles all piled up one on top of the other, basking in the sun? It's a sight to see. This group sunbathing is actually a common behavior among many turtle species. It's like their own little beach party. Why do they do this, you ask? Well, turtles are ectothermic, which means they can't regulate their body temperature like we can. They rely on the environment to warm up. So basking in the sun helps them raise their body temperature and digest their food better. And while they're at it, they don't mind sharing their sunbathing spot with a few friends. Now don't get the wrong idea. This doesn't mean turtles are social butterflies. They don't chit-chat or play games while basking. They're just sharing the same space. In the turtle world, it's not about making friends, but about surviving and thriving. And remember, not all turtles are the same. Some species might be more sociable than others. For instance, female sea turtles will often come ashore together to lay their eggs. It's like a big group outing for them. So in a nutshell, turtles may be loners at heart, but they do know how to share the spotlight when the sun is shining. Who knew turtles could be such sunbathers? Ever wondered how a tiny turtle turns into a big hard-shelled adult? Well, buckle up, we're about to embark on an incredible journey through the life cycle of a turtle. Our journey starts with a tiny delicate egg, buried in the warm sand. Mother turtles often lay up to a hundred of these, but only a fraction will survive. After about two months, the most exciting part begins. The eggs start to crack, and out pop the baby turtles. These tiny energetic creatures are called hatchlings. Hatchlings are no bigger than a coin, but are full of life and ready to take on the world. They have a tough start though. Their first mission? To reach the ocean. It's a perilous journey filled with predators, but those that make it start their journey in the great blue. The next stage in a turtle's life is the lost years. Yes, you heard that right. Turtles have a teenage phase too. During this time they drift in the ocean, and we don't know much about them. They're just out there living their best turtle life. After about 5 to 10 years the turtles become juveniles. They're not quite adults yet, but they're getting there. They've grown quite a bit and have developed their characteristic hard shell and beak. Finally, after a decade or two, these juveniles turn into adults. They're ready to mate and lay eggs of their own, and the cycle starts all over again. Now here's a fun fact for you. Turtles are among the longest-lived animals on Earth. Some species can live to be over 100 years old. That's a lot of birthdays to celebrate. And remember, turtles take a long time to mature and have a low survival rate. That's why they lay so many eggs. So the next time you see a turtle, remember it's been through a lot to get where it is. So, some turtles could be older than your grandparents. Now, isn't that something to celebrate? Can you guess what's threatening these amazing creatures? From the murky depths of the ocean to the sandy shores of beaches, turtles face many challenges. Pollution, hunting and loss of habitat are just a few. Imagine a home where the walls keep crumbling down, that's how a turtle feels when its habitat is destroyed. And it's not just about their homes. Turtles often mistake plastic for jellyfish, leading to harmful consequences. Our shelled friends need protection. That's why conservation efforts are so important. Turtles need our help to keep safe and sound. Ready to test your turtle knowledge? Here we go. Question 1. Can you tell me the smallest type of turtle? Question 2. How about the largest type of turtle? And lastly, question 3. Do you know how long turtles can live? Take a moment, think about it, and drop your answers in the comments below. Well done, smart kids. Don't forget to subscribe to Guru Kids Smart Kids channel for more fun learning.